Yep, back out again. Saturday this time, and then this Friday a lock. It's good going and camping on Friday because you get the whole weekend after that to recover. <laughs> Whoa, we're going over the bridge of death. There's a ford of terror. Another bridge of death. And we're on this bridge of death. We're going up there. We were going to go to the lakes, but looking at the weather, it's going to be thunderstorms, heavy rain, blustery wind. That's the theory. That's the weather forecast, whether it is that or not. But we just decided to um, be cautious, I and come here. Out the wind. We have something we've bottled it. We'll come out the wind and we're going to a place called Windy Girl. Windy Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what we're going to expect there. But I, it's me and him again. Well, a lot of people say it should be renamed Mark's Girl. Because yeah. I've weighed camp there more times than I have anywhere else. I'll probably be on the summit of Windy Girl, I would estimate, at least 60 times. 60? At least 60 times, I. Christ. Uh, it's just when you come up here regularly, it's one of the, it's your, it's your nearest objective, you know? We can't get lost then. And all the other objectives are miles away. Aye. The chief, it's a long way away. With these early nights, it's a nightmare, like. Head shops a long way away. You've just got to go on somewhere quick. This is, I find this just a nice place to park. It's a, it's a good leg stretch in, three mile in. Yeah. Or five mile, whichever way you want to go. And it's a, it's a lovely spot to watch the sunset, eh? We know sunset the night. Lovely spot to watch the rain clouds coming over. Uh, as long as we get here before we get Aye. Should be alright. Doesn't look like rain, does it? No, it doesn't, definitely doesn't. In fact, I fancy a good, a good spell of rain because... As we all know. The tent has never even been tested. That can't change. Yeah. Yes, I've walked in. We're in the middle of nowhere again, really. Right. We've been walking for about an hour. And we're in the middle of nowhere again. Up windy guile. So I'm expecting it to be windy. As you'd expect. It's starting to pick up now. Oh, just turn it around. Is it up there? I'll just stop for a natural break. Have a look at this though. Wild. Remote. That's the way we came. Down that valley down there. And this is the last push up to the top. Whew. Let's see what it's like. Hey right, folks, that's the border crossed. Passport control. Whoa. There's the top, windy guile. And as you can hear, Living up to its name. Oh, there's a hard little push coming up there. We kind of ran up. But, uh, I see we do all the hard work in England. Scottish claim the summit. How's oh, that fair? And we're just going to look for a pitch in the wind. I don't think we'll get one. Other side of this kind of south wind, so it's not really that cold. It's been quite mild. A little bit of a sweat on. Unseasonably mild. No snow. Rain forecast, but it's not looking rainy at the minute, like. Anyway, here we go. Pennine Way. Two and three quarter miles have come from that Corkard Valley. There's Mark set up there. Apparently that's his usual spot, which is next to a little cairn there, and then the big cairn here with the trig point on it. Over there, in the cloud somewhere, is the Cheviot, Edge Hope, all them. And I'll turn around in the wind. Can't get out that wind, like. There I am, all set up. See what I mean about the wind? When I set that up, right, that wind was coming that way. Now it's coming that way. Let's change its direction. Hey, well, not to worry. It's 
solid anyway. Let's take it in. Take it in out of the cold. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Oh, the usual pigsty of a place. Right, what we've got, oosh, beer wise. This is Beaver Town. This is called Clinging On To Summer, or Clinging To Summer, which is pretty much what we're doing. Um, that's 7% that. Fridge Life, which is what's coming. It's a big can that, it's a 500 mil can, that's a big one. Wylam Brewery, Veer Towards Chaos, which again, is very appropriate. Um, Don't Tell Gus, I've read reviews, Verdant Brewery, that one's supposed to be really good. I'll keep that one to last, that's a double IPA. 8% that bugger. One, two, three, four. This one's Passion Fruit Kicker. So that's uh, 4% Green Flash. I've heard of them. There's another one somewhere. Oh, I hear it is. Yeah, North Brewing Co. Pariah. IPA with pariah cycling apparel. Whatever the hell that means, I don't even know. Six percent. Nice can, isn't it? Uh, so we've got. Uh, look what we found, males. I've got me down bricks. The way the temperature is, the minute it's not that bad. I don't think I need them down bricks. But yeah, that's the Scotland over there. That's your Scotland folks. So again, we're very remote. Very remote. This is cosy this. It's all puffed up now. It's quite lofted quite well. I'm gonna put my gloves on like and go over and see what Mark's up to. It's only four o'clock. Long time to wait. We thought we were gonna take ages to get here, but we more or less ran up the bugger. Yeah, we got here very fast. Just just about an hour from the car park. Alright, let's get gun and see what he's up to. Just a little uh, top tip. If you're in your tent and you take your boots off, you take them off like that. But have the laces fastened, wrapped around. Just fasten them loose around the front there. And you can slip them on and off. And you don't trip over the laces. There you go. So you can have a bit stomp around. And you don't trip over. Just wrap around the back of the boat. Twice if you have to. Not tight though, just enough so they don't come loose. Top tip. It's the same view. Not long after. The rain's on. Uh, it's gone a bit. It's gone a bit. Uh, uh, it's horrible. Hey. Hey. It started like. Same old, same old. It's only quarter past five. <laughs> Tent bound. Because it's a little bit of rain as well. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. Fashion, look what we found, male. One beer left. And it's uh, no. Don't tell Gus. Good brewery. Yeah, what a good night. Not be bad. Put the radio on. A little bit of a sing song. 
been lashing down outside, but uh, it's all right now. It's stopped, it stopped raining. It's still windy. But when you come to Windy Gale, what do you expect? Wind. I don't know if you can see it, like. Let me turn the air touch off. So, yeah, it's been a, not a bad night. Oh, it's been windy, but we've all been sat in, um, we've been sat in Mark's tent. It's, it's a solo, right? And he can get in this side, and I'm in this side, and we'll have the door shut. So, solo, one man tent, two of us got in. Quite comfortable as well. Look at that one. Uh, look at this man. A bit steamy in here. I've got the vent open, but oh, the temperature, the temperature really dropped. That's why everything's steamed up. We've got condensation on the inside. Um, it's a southerly wind, so it's not a cold wind. You're better off with a cold wind. You won't get as much condensation with a cold wind. Obviously because of the cold, but when it's a, uh, when it's a warm wind, you're gonna get condensation like in most tents. There's not many tents you don't get condensation with a southerly. So it's not actually cold. It's just windy and it was raining, so uh, it's, a, it's a mixed bag. You're not getting the chill, but you're getting the condensation. I think. Because of all the gear I've brought, I think I prefer the chill. Not worry. Yeah, all right. I'll dry this out. No bother. Right. Well, I'm going to go to bed now. After this, I'm going to have this. Get Craig Charles on at 10 o'clock, and then get the kip. We'll be away early morning. I've got to get away because tomorrow is in Rothbury the Remembrance Day Parade. So we don't get it. We don't want to get caught in the traffic. We are thinking about getting involved in the parade. It just all depends on the time we get there. Let's we'll see what happens. Right, that's it. Steaming up again. Morning, campers. Heidi, hi. No. Nobody around. Check this out. It's gone a bit wrong out there, like the weather. It's slightly different than yesterday. It's clearing a bit. Oh. oh, it's actually clear now. It was like. Piece of... Oh, it's coming out now. The sun's... I think the sun's risen and it's trying to burn the cloud. Anyway, Ugh, just had uh, a daft night in the tent. Not as mad as last time. <laughs> he knows how to spell eyes now. Right, get a kettle on, a cup of tea, and uh, that's it. Pack up there. Must be pitch. No trace, etc., etc. It's not uh, not looking too good out here. Like. Where's Mark? He's ready. We don't take long. It's windy guile <laughs> for a reason. Oh, there it is. Sorted. This is the Pennine Way we're walking, and that is Scotland border fence. So Scotland's there. We're in England now. Eddie, right, Eddie should be Eddie. You should be on the other side patrolling. Eddie, Eddie and Nicola Sturgeon patrol that side in the uh, Scottish Wanderer. Aye. No. Out in the wild. You should be patrolling, lads. Should be out there in the kilts. Keep them out. Keep them 
Keep my back out. Keep my back out. <laughs> <laughs> and I've came from there. We've walked about a mile already. Just an out. And soldiers are out playing war games. You hear them? Machine gun fire. Better take cover. Oh, come along from there, out of that clag, along that fence. It's the Pennine Way and the border fence. There's a style there, jump over there. And uh, there's a sign there. The first of April to the 31st of May. You can't fly your bike over cars. There's a finger post. What's it called? Hexpeth Gate. Expeth Gate. Expeth Gate. So that's it. Pennine Way continues that way to the shill. And we are going to go that way to the car. <laughs> the car. It's not a hill, it's actually the car. Route. We'll press on into that. This is where we're heading here. The sun's trying to burn off all the, the cloud. It's succeeding as well by the look of it. The blue sky poking through. It's nice like isn't it? I'm seeing hammock spots me. Hammock spots. <laughs> Trees, hammocks. Remoteness. Come from up there. We've only done about 200 yards from that gate. And we're seeing this. So we've got evidence. <laughs> evidence of activity. It's been hell on here, isn't it? Aye. That's not the wind, that. Yetis? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely yetis. Definitely Aye. yetis. <laughs> Big old yetis. Big old yetis. I think we just walk like I think we're half a mile from the border. We're in we're in the trees. Amazing. Love a forest, me. Right, we've left the forest behind. I think we've walked about two miles through the forest. And we're heading down back into the valley. It's called Yarnspath Law. Big old hill that. So we're gonna just follow the path round and then head down through a bit of a valley. I don't know, I don't know where we're going actually. Yeah. Mark now it's but Adam. Oh no, this is not this is <laughs> just as well because I'm lost. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> Come through the uh, forest track here. We've happened upon what can only be described as a party. Right. Really? Soldiers' party. Yeah. Uh, Carlsberg. Water. Water. Kiwi fruits. Kiwi fruits. They're not, they're not keen on the kiwi fruits, like. <laughs> they like finished, they finished all the log on the Jager bombs and the Captain Morgans. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been in there, like, I'm there, look at the yeah. fire pits the and everything. Fires. Very unprofessional for a soldier to have a fire like that. Uh -huh. Leaving any trace. Uh, that's obviously there, packed up, ready to be picked up. Hopefully. Right. Well, we're, uh, we've walked about three and a half miles from that border ridge. <laughs> Took the long road back. Killed a bit of time. Aye. Uh, not, not any rush. Uh, this is obviously the woods the soldiers use, isn't it? For the bits and bobs of exercise or whatever they do. Hmm. We're at an eerie place here. It's a headstone. Have a read of that. Murder Clough. Here in 1810, Robert Lumsden killed Isabella Sudden. Oh, that might be I. 1610. That's at 10 past 4. This is Murder Clough. Very, very eerie place. 
Aye, oh, aye, that can't be a camp anywhere, me. Camp in a mausoleum, man. What? I camped in a mausoleum. Oh, I thought you were. Fucking This is very eerie, though. Camp in a mausoleum with. Well, we're on the last leg. I think the total walk back from that cairn the way we've come, or oh, Windy Guile or whatever. Six and a bit miles. Probably. Six odd miles, eh? Right? That's where we went yesterday. Up there. Across the top of it. So we've done a massive big circle. Oh look at the Windy Guile. Back down through the uh, Pennyway borders, through these trees and then come back here. Back to the farm, back to the car. So I don't think I'm out next week. I'm not quite sure what's happening. But it can change. Things change. But for now, that's it. We're off. That's it, minute, one minute silence, a hundred years ago today.